All right, so in this video, we're going to learn about how we can send embed messages on a Discord channel. So basically, embed messages uh, are just messages that look a lot more fancier. You can see that right over here. I have an example over here. We have like a title for this message. We have a description. We have a color. You can also add like uh, an avatar. And you can also add footers. There's a lot of things that you can add for embed messages. I think that they're great. And they're good for like, you know, displaying server rules, organizing, you know, your announcements, things like that. So I'll show you how we can uh, send messages, uh, send embed messages. So I'll show you two examples, one where we just send it using the message create event and one where we are handling the interaction create event. So in order to uh, use message create event, a couple things that we need to do. First, let's just enable a couple of intents. So let me go ahead and import uh, the gateway uh, intent bits enum from Discord JS, and I want to opt into the guilds intent as well as the uh, message content intent. And we also want to make sure that on our Discord developer portal over on our applications, so over here on CoffeeBot, you want to make sure that you have message content intent enabled you only need to do this if you want to actually work with the message content event if you don't then you don't have to worry about this okay so i have this intent enabled which is good so let's go back to our code and let's go ahead and listen to the message create event and this is going to take in a callback function and that callback function has one argument which is the message that was sent to the channel We'll first check to see if the message was sent by the bot by checking the author and the bot property on the author. And if it returns true, that means the message was sent by a bot and we don't want to do anything if it was sent by a bot. So we will just return. Otherwise, if it's not sent by a bot, we will just send a message to the channel and we'll just send an embed message. So what I'll do is I'll do message dot channel dot send. And I want to pass in an object which is the message options type. And there's a property called embeds, and this is going to be an array of embeds, okay? Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can either just pass in a raw JSON object and you can set the title for the embed. You can set the description. You can do it that way if you want to. The Discord JS docs also show you an example of how you can do this. If you go over to the text channel .send, uh part of the docs, you can see examples. But what I'll do is I'll just create an instance of embed builder because I think that's a lot more cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and import the embed builder instance right over here. And we're just going to create an instance or I'm sorry, I meant the embed builder class from the Discord JS library. And I'm going to instantiate that class inside this array. So new embed builder. And I'm going to go ahead and call the appropriate methods that we need to modify our embed message. So the important thing that we need is we cannot send an embed message that is empty. So I'll go ahead and just set the description and I'll just say something like, hello world. And let's just see what happens. And uh, yeah, I don't think we need to actually call to JSON. So let's try this out and let's see what happens. So our bot should re-log in and we should be able to just send a message to our Discord channel which will result in the bot sending an embed message. So I'll go into this channel because it's empty and we don't have to really worry about uh, the welcome channel. Okay. So let's just wait for the bot to re-log in. And then once it re-logs in, we'll try sending a message and let's see if the bot was able to send the embed message successfully. All right, so the bot is logged in again. So let's go ahead and say hi to the text channel. Or let's see what's going on here. Maybe the bot might not have permission. Uh, let's see. Um, ticket bot? Is this the correct bot? Or it's supposed to be coffee bot? Huh, interesting. Why do I have... Do I have the wrong bot? Okay, so this is... Oh, I think I just changed the nickname. So this is the correct bot. But uh, not sure why it's not sending messages to the channel. Do It should... The bot should have correct permissions. Let's double check. Let's try. 
Mm, let's see. Interesting. I don't know what's going on. It should just send the message to the channel. Um, let's see. The bot's logged in. Uh, we are listening to the message create event. We do have message content enabled. Maybe we need to enable one more. Maybe guild messages. Let's try that. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. So maybe guild messages was what the problem was. Let me resync the permissions again. So that way the bot permissions are back to normal. So we just reverted the send messages permission that we just manually enabled. And let's just try sending hi. Okay, there we go. So it seems like we do need to enable guild messages as well. Okay. Uh, anyways, so you can see that the embed message is being sent. So let's go ahead and modify this a little bit. Let me go ahead and just exit the uh, exit the uh, application. And let's go ahead and just modify this a little bit. Let's just set a title. And let's just say greeting. Okay. Let's go ahead and set the author. And we'll set the author. So we have to pass in embed author options. And what we'll do is for the author options... Uh, I think we just need to set a name. So I'll set the client.user.tag. Uh, you can set the icon URL, which is just the uh, the avatar URL of the bot. Or you can set whatever URL, right? It doesn't have to be the bot's uh, uh, avatar URL. You can, you know, pass in a link to an image if you want to. But I'll just get the default avatar URL, uh, just like this, which is, yeah, a string. So we can also additionally set like a color if we want to. So let's set color and you can pass in any color you want. Uh, you can go on Google and just look up like an RGB, not RGB, like a hex. I think you can do RGB as well, but usually I just do hexadecimal values for the uh, for the colors. But they do have some uh, uh, colors that you can just select by default. So let's just select maybe like a dark orange color and Let's save and let's go into our PowerShell and let's restart our bot. And let's see what has changed. So let's just say hi. And you can see that we now have the title. We have the icon URL. Uh, we have the title right over here. Or this was the author, sorry. And this is the title. We have the description and we also have the color. And you can change that to whatever color you want. You can also set a footer as well. You can also set a thumbnail. Um, so if you uh, want to like have like an icon like somewhere over here on the embed, you can do that as well. There's a lot of things that you can do with embeds. So I encourage you to play around with this. But this is just the most basic form of embed messages that you can work with. Okay. And again, if you wanted to uh, handle uh, this for... If you wanted to send embed messages when you are handling interactions, you literally would just do the same exact thing. You would listen to the interaction create event. Okay. And then instead of message.channel.send, you would just call interaction.reply. And then you would just pass in, uh, let me see. I think for, let me do this interaction. Okay, let me do this. If interaction dot is chat input command. So let's check to see if it's a chat input command first. And then we'll do interaction that reply. And then we can pass in embeds like this. Because I, I guess uh, there's different types of interactions. And I don't think you can send embeds for, uh, for other types of interactions. So I think that's why you need to check what type of interaction it is first. So if it's a chat input command, then we can just call interaction that reply. And we can see that we can pass in this embeds property. And it's the same exact thing. It's an array. Okay. And then we can just do reading from interaction. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, send this order slash command. And whenever that order slash command is is uh, is sent, it's just going to uh, it's just going to use this logic to handle it. So let's just go back to our code or go back to our server. Let's do slash order. And you can see that it's sending that embed from the interaction create event. So that is really it when it comes to embed messages. They're very, very straightforward and they're very nice uh, for doing lots of stuff. So I definitely encourage you to um, play around with it, 
work with it, see if you like it. And if you don't, you know, you can always use uh, components or you can use just regular messages. That's pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out.